This is the Devel 16. And for years, we've been seeing this supercar in pictures, on blogs, Instagram, Facebook. We've all heard the specs, 5,000 horsepower, 1.8 seconds, zero to 60 time, capable of 350 miles per hour. We've even seen a few videos of it rolling around. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, if you ask me, it seems a little too awesome. It's pretty sus that we've never seen this car actually do a pull. Is this car real? Or is the Devel 16 just smoke and mirrors? What I found out is actually fucking bananas. Huge thanks to Fantic for sponsoring today's video. A dead battery will ruin anyone's day. Which is why you need the leading pioneer of portable 65 watt two-way supercharging jump starters. The T8 Apex Car Jump Starter. It's got a four core high quality battery cell that'll get your car juiced in seconds. In just an hour and a half, it's fully charged. And in just five minutes of charging, it can start a car. And I know what you're thinking. Why does this thing look so much cooler than the crappy one I use? Well, that's because the T8 Apex is the luxury sports cars of jump starters. And as we all know, with luxury comes badass features like an ultra bright 400 lumens LED lamp with three modes. It's dust proof, it's waterproof, it's V0 flame retardant and safe as hell with short circuit high temp and reverse polarity protection. There's even an override manual mode when you press the power button and LED light button at the same time for three seconds. So don't wait around for the three valves company to save you. Get back on the road with a T8 Apex car jump starter. Click the link below and save $15 off your purchase when you use the code DONUTT8APEX. Now let's jump back to the show. You get it? Like, jump, Never mind. I wanna start off this video by saying that I'm a big fan of the idea behind this car. I mean, how can you not smile when you hear 12.3 liter quad turbocharged V16, 5,000 horsepower, 350 miles per hour. If those numbers don't get you excited, you're a robot. The thing is, from all our research, everything that's come out about this car is theoretical. We've yet to see what this supposed supercar, nay, hypercar is capable of doing in a real life test. And that's disappointing because it could honestly be really, really cool. So why is it that eight years after this car was announced, people are still talking about it? Back in 2013, Dubai-based car maker Devel announced at the Dubai International Motor Show their plans to produce a 16-cylinder roadster capable of 5,000 horsepower with the intent to, quote, break all world records. That's what you wanna do as a new company. You shoot for the freaking moon. It was also gonna be one of the first cars designed and produced solely in the United Arab Emirates, a place where every other car on the road is an exotic, but none of them are really produced there. According to one of Devel's developers, Rashid al -Atari, the company had actually been working on the 16 secretly since 2006. In his own words, quote, we keep it hush. Rashid also revealed at the unveiling that this wasn't the only project Devel was working on. And the other project was, quote, much, much bigger than this one. You will not be disappointed. Which is something I say when I turn in a script that's not quite done yet. I, I really lean on James's improv skills. Ah, never come back! Ah! Hi, I'm James Pumphrey. Breaker 1-9, there's some diesel bears hassling a chicken chunk. Hi. 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 Oh, oh crap. Can you hear my seatbelt? Oh. Just a Freundin? Don't do this again. Always in the Freudin zone. <laughs> <laughs> When the Devel 16 prototype was unveiled to the world, it made waves, but some waves broke for the wrong reasons. The prototype was a little rough, with unfinished and ill-fitting carbon fiber, hilariously over-the-top exhaust ports, and quilted leather seats that were just meh. Carblog Motor Authority said it looked like it was, quote, hastily built in the back shed somewhere, and that's pretty harsh. But the looks weren't the only thing the Devel was getting roasted for. People balked at the claim that the V16 was gonna make 5,000 horsepower. I mean, how? To put that in perspective, the most powerful Formula One car ever made about 1,350 horsepower, and that was only during qualifying. If they ran that setup during a race, it would explode. 5,000 seemed like such an arbitrary number, and it was 4,000 horsepower more than any production car had ever made, even if it did have 16 cylinders. But Devel claimed they were gonna build an entirely new engine, which for an engine with half the cylinders, would be a grandiose claim. Add to that the claimed zero to 60 time of 1.6 seconds and a top speed of nearly 350 miles per hour, and it becomes literally 
unbelievable. Not just hyperbole, but a full-on nuthouse claim. First of all, where do you even drive a car at 350 miles per hour? The 5,000 horsepower version of the 16 was only intended to be a track car, but name a track that you could even get up to that speed on. Aside from that crazy testing strip that VW used for the Bugatti Chiron, needless to say, there was a healthy amount of skepticism from car enthusiasts, myself definitely included. But not even two years later, a video came out that put a lot of that negativity to bed. Nighty night, baby boy. Hope you like turbo noses. In 2015, a few years after the Devel 16 prototype debuted, the company released a video on their YouTube account that showed the mythical V16 doing a dyno pull. That's right, this was real. There it was in its full quad turbo glory, silencing the naysayers. The engine in question was a sort of Frankenstein LS, actually two LSs fused together by Michigan high performance engine builder, Steve Morris. And I gotta say, this video changed my mind a little bit. Steve Morris builds around 100 bespoke high performance engines a year with a load of power. So much power, baby, that they boast that they have a dyno that can read power values over 4,500 horsepower. This is not your grandpappy's dyno, that's for sure. Unless your grandpa is Steve Morris. In that case, sick. The engine Steve Morris developed for the Devel was a 12.3 liter billet block machined out of a single hunk of metal. Each of the four turbos are a massive 81 millimeters and made specifically for this engine. Actually, a lot of the components on this engine were made specifically for this engine by Steve Morris. That means the headers, the block, the one piece crankshaft and one piece camshaft, air intakes, etc. So yeah, when people say this thing is just two LS's bolted together, it's true that this engine does use specific components from the LS, but that's a gross understatement and honestly, kind of a diss. The level of creativity and precision that went into making this bespoke engine is a monumental engineering achievement on the part of Steve Morris and his shop. And the proof can be seen in the video as the V16 spools up and hits an amazing 4,000 515 horsepower and 3,519 foot-pounds of torque at 36 pounds of boost. Good gracious. It actually made more power, but the dyno could only measure up to 4,500 horsepower. So if the engine is real, and we've known this for six years now, why does the Devel 16 still catch so much flack? Well, having a working engine is one thing, but power is only as good as the car that can harness it. And that's when things get a little cloudy. The first production model debuted at the 2017 Dubai International Motor Show. This time around, the model looked a lot more refined than the concept car. The swooping lines and sloping tail were much more refined than the concept and actually looked like a fighter jet, which is what the designers were inspired by. The over-the-top dual exhaust was dialed back a bit and resembled more of Pagani-style exhaust than a plastic tumbler from Batman ripoff. The production model does look pretty badass, I have to admit. The interior was dialed back as well. The concept version had tons of futuristic dials and gauges, racing seats with colorful leather and ventilation rings, and even a leather lined floor. For the production model, everything is way more sensible and minimalistic, and it fits with other modern supercar interiors. The only note I have for the interior is that the steering wheel kind of looks weird. Everything else on the 16 seems legitimate. It's a carbon fiber monocoque mounted on an aluminum chassis, which is par for the course for supercars nowadays. It also has electronically controlled suspension with three different modes and varying ride heights. That's kind of what you want. The 5,000 horsepower version of the 16 is actually just the top trim level of the car meant for the track only. And it costs a staggering $2.2 million. The other tiers aren't nearly as crazy. The lowest trim level offers a turbocharged LS V8 tuned to 1,500 horsepower and it costs $1.6 million. The next level up is a street legal version of the turboed V16, but tuned to make 3,000 horsepower. This model goes for a relative bargain at 1.8 million. Double the horsepower for only $200,000? Sign me up. It's like going to the movies and buying a small popcorn when you could be getting the large for only 50 cents more, with refills included. In theory, this hypercar checks all the boxes for being one of the most exciting production cars ever built. But in practice, that's where things start to fall apart. This is the most insane car I've ever seen. The first time we ever got to see the Devel 16 move under its own power was November 1st, 2018, when Supercar Blondie became the first person who didn't work for Devel to drive the thing. It was, for the most part, a little uneventful. We got some cold starts. <laughs> We got some rolling footage. We got to see the interior, nice. But the problem for a lot of viewers is that we didn't get to see those 5,000 buff horses unleashed on a Dubai highway. But as we'll learn later, there is a very good and very valid reason for that. 
Instead of giving skeptics a big old spoonful of shut the hell up juice, the exclusive first drive only made the chorus of haters sing louder. And just to be clear, none of this is Supercar Blondie's fault. If Devel gave us the rights to the first drive, we would have jumped on that opportunity in an instant. In fact, Devel, if you want to send us a 16, I'd love to drive it. The company got another big marketing boost when it was reported that Drizzy, AKA Drake, ordered one of the first 16s off the production line. But that's about all the info there is about this and it really hasn't been verified. A Devel 16 did make a cameo in the I'm Upset video, but it wasn't rolling and you could only see half the car for about one and a half seconds, which led to some commenters to theorize that the monumental insurance costs for driving this car were too much for the Degrassi star. It was also reported that Snoop Dogg was in talks to buy one as well, but again, not a lot of info, so I'm not sure. After almost a full decade of teasing supercar fans, we have yet to see the Devel 16 make it to production. So will we ever? Surprisingly, we actually might. The Devel 16 was supposed to go into production about a year after it debuted at the 2017 Dubai Auto Show. It still hasn't, and we haven't got a lot of updates from the company. Why? Why has the company that claims to have made the fastest car in the world been so slow to respond? Well, it goes without saying, but making a completely original hypercar from nothing is difficult. Us armchair engineers can comment all we want on social media, talk and smack about this car, but what do we know, really? about designing a quad turbocharged 16 cylinder track monster. I don't know anything. Many of the claims that Devel has made about performance are actually backed up by science. The lead engineer on the project is an Italian named Paolo Gorella, and he seems really cool. You might have heard of some of the other projects he's worked on, like the SCG 003, a 700 horsepower track toy that weighs just a few hundred pounds more than a Miata, or the Apollo IE, a V12 beast of a supercar. Both of these cars are 100% real and have been driven and tested. So why hasn't the 16 come to fruition? Paolo loves a challenge, which is why he accepted the position as lead engineer on the Devel 16. In an interview with Road and Track, he said, quote, I mean, to have the possibility to work on something like this, it's really unique, but I guess I'm starting to get a reputation among people for taking up crazy challenges. Many of the challenges that the team has had to deal with during the development of the car have to do with the insane forces a car is under at high speeds. To get a car to travel at 300 miles per hour, you need at least 1500 horsepower. But to get it to go any faster, you need exponentially more horsepower. We're talking 1,500 more horsepower to get it up to 350 miles per. Jeremiah did a really cool bumper to bumper on this. Check it out. Uh, it's about getting a car to go 1,000 miles per hour. It's a lot harder than it sounds. Actually, it sounds pretty hard. But even after you drop in a power plant that's able to get you to 350 miles per hour, you're only halfway there. Devel engineers are struggling to find a transmission that can handle all that torque. The transmission they're currently using on the lower trim levels results in a 500 horsepower mechanical loss. Also, fluid aerodynamics become crushing at speeds that high. And it's one thing that's been a major headache in the development of the Devel 16. Vortexes form underneath the car that can destabilize it. Air gets trapped towards the rear that doesn't dissipate fast enough. These are all things that can tank the reputation of the Devel 16 if the car goes into production before it's ready. On top of all that, you have to wonder if the technology is already outdated. I mean, think about it. This car has essentially been in development since 2006. That's 15 years. Whatever technology is in this car had to go multiple revisions to remain state of the art and maintain its edge over modern supercars. The video game equivalent of the Devel 16 is Cyberpunk 2077. That game was in development for nine years and when it finally came out, it was pretty disappointing to say the least. Now imagine if you spent $2.2 million on your copy of Cyberpunk. Try getting that refund back. The bar is extra high, not only because of the claims that Devel is putting out about their hypercar, but also because everyone's been anticipating this car for so long. The hype surrounding this car has gotten so out of hand that it eclipses the actual car it's gonna be. I'm not sure that Devel 16 will actually make it to production, but if it does, I'm sure some of those claims will be dialed back just a little bit. It's also pretty telling that the company has already announced a second model before the first one has rolled off the production line. That's right, the Devel 16 is a 6x6 off-road brute powered by a 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8, but unlike the 16, this Warthog has already been tested and it smoked the Mercedes AMG GT in a drag race. Hear that turbo diesel peel out in third gear? Maybe I should start believing the hype. Thank you very much for watching Wheelhouse. I've been wanting to talk about this car for a long, long time, and I honestly hope it works out for him. I wanna believe that something like the 16 is possible. That's exciting to me. 
If you haven't seen our video on the Lycan Hypersport, another crazy supercar from the UAE, click the link right there. Check out the D-list right here. Follow Donut on all social media, at Donut Media. Follow me if you want, at Nolan J. Sykes. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, it's all there for you. Be kind, I will see you next week.